I think it started because I was working for Hooters. And there, over time, when I became an exec, when you're in the restaurants, everyone wants to be there. So it's a very happy place. But when you're an executive in a suit at a networking event and you hand someone a business card with an owl on it, um, you know, you get reactions. And I, so I got trained at a young age to get really clear on about whose opinion do I care. Mm-hmm. Really clear. Mm-hmm. I worked at the National Football League. There are people who work at the NFL who will never leave because when they get on an airplane or they walk into a Sunday barbecue or whatever it is, they work at the NFL, right? And that matters. And and I I don't I say that with respect, like it it, it's it's identity based for them, Mm -hmm. right? Um, and so that that saying, like, I'm moving on from a brand that has like nearly 100 percent name recognition and nearly 100 percent beloved totally to a brand that, you know, someone's like, well, is that is that a movie company? Is that Focus Films? Like what what you know, what what is that? <laughs> what do you focus on? Yeah, yeah. <laughs> exactly. Right. Like so. So being able to isolate what really matters for you personally and to to block out the noise of the other stuff that might matter to other people feels like a really important part of this. But I learned to ask myself that. Mm-hmm. And so. So um, then I developed a framework that, again, I didn't know it was a framework at the time. It just is now. Mm-hmm. And I've helped. I've sent it to many people to navigate big life moments. Let's hear it. So um, it is money, mm-hmm. ego and optics, mm-hmm. and capabilities. Mm. And so when you think about a major life change, there, there's just a, like Maslow's hierarchy of needs. Uh, yeah, sure. You know, what are your financial needs or goals or aspirations that I love tackling first with people? Yeah. So it's just not getting inappropriately attached yeah. to the other things. Let it stand alone for yeah. what it is. So and this is true for investments. It's true for investing in a early stage business. It's true for investing in an initiative in a company. Yeah. And it's also true for career decisions. So yeah. um, fi- you know, financial. Then next is ego and optics, what you're just hitting on. Mm-hmm. About whose opinion opinion do I care? Yep. Where do I get my sense of self? So I would challenge people who would come to me and say, I want a promotion mm-hmm. um, or I want to be a president. OK, what if I told you I had a president role for you mm-hmm. and, you know, we, you play around with the other levers. It, mm-hmm. it doesn't pay very much, but it's it's the job yeah. or it it pays a ton and it's the job, but it's at a company that is definitely doing harm yep. in the world. Yep. And so you really help people parse these things out. So financial, ego and optics and ego and optics also includes things like do you need to lead a big team? Mm-hmm. Do people do you need to lead a company that people know about? Is it important to you um, to make an impact on the world positively and to what degree and how do you define that? So this whole ego and optics column. Uh, And then the third column has a part A, part B capabilities. So where can you shine and where can you learn? Um, What what are you objectively good at that almost anyone who has worked with you would acknowledge? And can you can you make an impact in this opportunity with those skills? So basically, can what you've built be worth something? And then are you going to grow? Are you going to learn? Is there some, or are you just going to sit in that same place you've been? And I redo this every year. I just do a little reflection when I've considered opportunities, when people have come to me and said, I think I need a promotion. We literally walk through this. 